Hey everybody, it's Edwin. And Ruiner. And we are putting this recording ahead of our actual reviews as a bit of a heads up. Um, these reviews are not a result of the episodes airing on August 5th, 5th 2017. They're the result of the episodes leaking before the hiatus when it came out in Australia. I'm sure every one of us all went onto the interwebs and we all snuck and watched it like kids who peeked at their Christmas presents. We're not here to judge. <laughs> nope. I mean, I, I will anyway, but not, I mean, you're not here to judge me. Or at least I don't know it unless you say something mean in the comments. But you wouldn't do that. The internet's full of fair and nice people who never have mean things to say. No, but yeah. Um, that th- we, we recorded them when, when they came out in Australia and... Uh, and life happens, and we didn't put them up as as soon as we we wanted, and so now we decided to 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 upload them now. Now that they've been officially released in the United States, I mean, we weren't actually in Australia when it happened. Yeah, I mean, we should have been, but we weren't. And and so that that's why that's why we're you're only getting them now. Yeah, we should have been in Australia. Well, I think but, that. But without further ado, enjoy the review. I do. Later. Offend Osiris. Hey, everybody, it's Edwin. And Ruiner. And um, we're talking about another episode. We're kind of doing them out of order, but uh, yeah. We just got two leaked episodes. We've just talked about probably one of the best MLP episodes ever. And now there's this one Discordant Harmony. I think that's how you pronounce it. I think we should have done this one first. Yeah, but then there was best episode, so. I think everybody watched these episodes out of order. Yeah, I I, I know I definitely watched the the, uh, the perfect, perfect pair first. <laughs> yeah, that that was that was my thing too. My buddy um uh, in Colorado sent me two links, one for Daily Motion, one for YouTube, and the one for YouTube he put next to it in quotes the feels, mm-hmm. and I thought this has got to be the the pair of episodes I watched that one first, and then we came back around to this one. And it's a good episode. It just, it kind of pales it, I mean, in comparison to the last, to the to the one ahead of it. Yeah. It, but it, that is no, it's in no way a bad episode. It's got John Delancey's good voice acting. It's got Discord's awesome gimmicks. The the episode itself has a great sense of humor. Mm-hmm. Like, uh, like the very first thing we see in the episode is uh, Fluttershy having Discord over for his Tuesday tea. And the food apparently is... So it's finger food, because his fingers eat the food. Get it? Ah, 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 ah. Uh, anyway. And he, he and Fluttershy cuts off the crust so that he can eat the crust. Because, you know, no one does that. Yeah, that's just wrong. You always eat the crust. But it, eventually, he Discord is, you know, he's always blown away by how much of a good job Fluttershy does. And he wants to throw her a tea party. And can I just stop right here by saying tea party is like the usually you consider that to be a pretty girly thing, but here it doesn't really come off like that. Mostly just because of the way it's written. It's, it's funny. It's not like a super girly thing. Yeah, it, it, it's more like a... Uh, I don't know how to put it. It's, it's not like MLP G1, G2, or E3. Or, We're going to have a magical tea party. It's like, yeah, you want to come over for tea tomorrow? We'll have some fun stuff do fun stuff the be a target for the tea party yeah no, 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 the beginning's not not that it's it's just got good animation and good gimmicks that's that's yeah, one d- thing you can always have with discord is good gimmicks yeah discord's pretty much the the draw of, at, at the very beginning oh yeah absolutely so Fluttershy's like all right yeah we'll do the tuesday tea next tuesday at your place and discord is so stoked he wants to do the tuesday tea tomorrow so immediately, and he even, but then he even immediately, even he realizes I have no idea how to do this. Exactly, which is great because it's it's kind of fun to see Discord outside his comfort zone. It really is because we didn't know he had one. Yeah. But, well, yeah. Okay. Yeah, he doesn't really have one. I guess the only time you could really say he was ever really outside of his comfort zone was when uh, he learned that, f- that if he didn't. That friendship is much. Yeah, pretty much, yeah, that, the whole thing when uh, he's like, I'm Discord, I don't care about it if I don't have any friends, and oh, crap, I do care. Yeah. That, that's the only time we ever really see him outside his comfort zone. 
So this was a fun episode and a good take on it because he goes around to all the places that Fluttershy goes to do her shopping. But before that, he he, he talks to himself. Oh yeah, oh that's right. He L- literally, almost literally talks to himself. Yeah, which which is which is just brilliant. Yeah. And I, and I and I am, I, and I am using the the word literally pro- properly here. Yes, exactly. Because he he. He sits down at a bench where this old pony is reading, and she's like, are you talking to me? And he's like, do you mind? I'm trying to have a conversation. On the other side of her is another Discord. But he talks to himself, and he... he, uh, John Delancey voice acts it quite fluently. He really gives the impression that it's two separate Discords. I mean, I'm sure he's got plenty of experience with this. Oh, yeah, yeah, totally. Dude's an accomplished actor and voice actor, so, you know, he does the scene well. It kind of makes me think of Fall Weather Friends, where, uh, what's her name? Alicia Ball, I believe her name is? Not sure. Yeah, I can't pronounce her name. I'm, I'm retarded. But anyway, she's got to do Rainbow Dash's voice and Applejack's voice, and they're having a conversation together, and that can't be easy. <laughs> so it, it kind of it made me think of that. And so he has this drawn-out conversation with himself, and then at the end, he's like, well, what do you think? And he's, he's... talking to the old pony. <laughs> No, no, he, wasn't it? no. Well, yeah, he does, but but he doesn't say what do you think. He says he 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 calls her rude for not for not talking for not responding back. Yes, and yes. Then, and then he, uh, and then he he does probably one of my favorite things that like his Discord stuff that he does in the entire show, and that he like he goes to he's like he's like okay I'm gonna get get ready for the for the to get the things for the teeth party, puts on a. Puts on a helmet, a jetpack, and then and then it start it starts starts. Uh, yeah, it fires up like he's gonna take off, and then and then vanishes and yeah. disappears in the tea shop. Everything Discord does is just funny to me. It really is. Rarely does he have a moment where I'm not amused by him. I should get a Discord vinyl figure to go with my collection of vinyl figures. Or a lamp. Ooh, that would be cool. A Discord lamp. Oh, I got enough lamps. If I get another lamp, I'm gonna get a lightsaber lamp, like the ones from Think Geek. Mm. But, uh, so he appears at the tea shop, and um, he's trying to figure out what kind of tea Fluttershy likes. And the tea pony, she's like, are you sure you're Fluttershy's friend? Yeah. Yeah, every, that's kind of a, the, a theme everywhere he goes. Where, where they're, they're like, like, everyone knows, everyone, pretty much everyone obviously knows Fluttershy, because he's going to the same places she goes to, um, because, because he wants to... Get the perfect tea stuff for her. For her, yeah. Even, uh, even though, it's kind of obvious what's gonna happen. Yeah, it was it was pretty obvious, but we'll get to that later. But every, but every point he goes to, uh, oh, go ahead. Uh, and, um, apparently, no one else, no one except for the male pony, has been to his house. It's kind of hard to get there. Yeah, I mean, because they, they later on they show you got to go to another dimension. Well, no, yeah, but later on they show how she gets there. Oh yeah, yeah. But, uh, yeah. But the tea pony's like, are you sure you're Fluttershy's friend? Because you're nothing like her. And she's trying to show him all the teas, like green tea. You know, oh, so this turned me green. And she's like, no, it, it just tastes good. How about some ginseng tea? And does it sing? No, it just tastes good. Ro- what was the other one? Rose hip? Yeah, it does, um, does it make your uh, mm-hmm. hips have rose leaves on it or something? I can't remember that one. Green rose hip tea, I think Yeah, green, yeah. Fun fact, back in the day, in the 1800s, a cup of rose hip tea a week in the bush will help prevent scurvy. Yar. Yar. Scurvy's a pretty nasty disease, but anyway. So he uh, takes the ginseng tea and he chaoses Man. it up and makes it sing. And I still got that little j- that little jingle stuck in my head. ba 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 do ma do ba da ba It's just really cute. So he's like, I'll take it, and then he... That's not the one where he does the pilot. Oh, he's like, oh yeah, do you validate? Uh, yeah, yeah, um, he, yeah. That's uh, he. He's like, yeah. At the just before he, just as he makes his purchase, she's, that, that she's like, she's like, I still can't believe you're you're Fluttershy's friends. And he's like, well, we are. And like, you just don't like, you just don't, you obviously just don't get me, or something like that. You don't get me like Fluttershy does. And he 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 vanishes out, and like two seconds two two seconds later, he he comes back in. And he's like, I'm sorry. Do you validate? <laughs> Then he goes to the next place. It was a tea, 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 tea set. The tea word to get to get his tea set. Yeah, and um, well, he's like, well, and the shopkeeper pony there is like, are you sure you're Fluttershy's friend? And he's like, well, excuse me, Miss Critical uh, Shopkeeper Pony. Yeah. 
I think the only place that doesn't happen is in the... Uh, is in the party place. In the party place. But it turns out Discord is is loaded. Yeah. Like, piles of bits. I'm wondering if those are actual bits or if he's just... Fool's chaos gold. Or if he's just chaosing them in and... If it's like leprechaun gold from Harry Potter. The gold that fades away over time. Mm-hmm. Nah, I don't think so. He yeah, probably... it's probably really bits. Yeah. From all that Star Trek money. Yeah. <laughs> it's all those Star Trek bits. So he get, he gets a tea set after he makes it start flying around yeah. because apparently the the standard tea set just wasn't good enough. Pouring a tea set that only pours tea, it it needs to be able to fly, connect to Wi Fi, and and, and yeah, play HD DVD DVDs and MP forty eights. Watch and, and watch the kids. Exactly, and he's like, "Don't wrap it up. I'll walk it home," and which he does, because the tea set just follows him around flying. Then he goes to the next spot, and uh, I'm kind of glad they didn't go with the same trope as the last two. Are you sure you're Fluttershy's friend? He's going to buy napkins and some other stuff, and he can't figure yeah. out what to do. Kind of the opposite, actually, because uh, he runs into Pinkie Pie there. Always good to have Pinkie Pie show yeah. up. Yeah, yeah, and he asks her for advice. Uh, like, hey, being being Fluttershy's close to, close to best friend, but yeah. not quite, because uh, that's me. Yeah, of course. Uh, like what would what would you do? And uh, what what was the advice exactly? Like keep it. Uh, you know you know Fluttershy best. You know just do what you think she would lo- want you to do. Uh, when he takes it the completely wrong way, that's the thing. Yeah. Well, well, well no, not right away. No. He gets he gets the he turns the napkins into self folding flying glowing in the dark napkins. Uh, 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 brings a pinata to life. Which was very cool. I think that pinata was actually voiced. Uh, by Pink by Pinkie Pie's voice actor, so because it sounds a lot like her, but uh, and uh, what else? He did something else, but I can't remember. I, I can't remember. Oh no, 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 those are the things he bought. But then later, I, I know. But there's something else that he got at the party. At the party, uh, he he. The napkins glowed in the dark, flew and folded themselves into funny shapes. The pinata sneezed and came alive. Uh, the tea set flew. No, but, the tea uh, sang. I'm trying to think here. I can't remember, but I'm sure it'll probably come to me either after this or or during it. But uh, yeah. But yeah. Um, so he gets all that. Thanks, Pinkie Pie, because she is bestest at what she does. And as and uh, and after he leaves, Pinkie Pie asks the uh, the the clerk, hey, "Where do you keep your your floating, glowing, self folding uh, napkins?" napkins? He's like, "What?" <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know we had those. Exactly. So Discord gets back to his place and uh, starts uh, setting everything up, and it looks like it'd be a hell of a good time, but then he starts to overthink things, and, and that starts, requires him to talk to and, himself. And starts talking to himself again. Yes. And then things take a turn for the predictable, but actually kind of fun. He's like, what would we need to do to make this place more fluttershy? So he starts getting rid of all his chaotic stuff. The stairs that go to nowhere. Uh, what else? Gra- he, uh, gravity. He, he brings back gravity. Yeah, and, and uh, I love how it, it, it starts showing how much he, he does know about Fluttershy. Because like, cause that, that was the recommendation that uh, Pinkie Pie and then he has, he has with a... That's the recommendation Pinkie Pie gives him. Yeah. And what he discusses with himself. A lot. Where... Uh, like you know Fluttershy you know, so you know, well. Yeah, Discord knows Fluttershy so well, he, he, he could, and he does, make the party exactly how Fluttershy would, would normally like it if she were hosting the party. Like, the, the, no, the having everything normal, pretty much. Yeah. Uh, but he needs help to do it, though. So he summons in five more versions of himself, but every version that comes through his front door has a different little gimmick. Like one, like kind of smug, one kind of giddy, all this sort of thing. So they're different, but they're the same. Did they? Yeah, they all, they all do. They all do like a little thing when they. Oh, oh, when the, you you meant when they came in? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah they all yeah. their own little gimmick there. Yeah, and, but and I like how how the one behind them had just had the last, uh, has the exact same frame as the the one ahead of it as he as he leaves and then goes into his own his own thing. <laughs> you know what I mean, right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, like he, there, like one, like if one was like standing with his hand, with his right arm up, and and then and then moves it down, and then and smir- smirks, 
and then walks off. The, the the one behind him would be doing the same smirk and then go into his own his own pose and and walk walk uh, walk forward. Yeah. And repeat. It's it, to me whenever they get to do a Discord episode, they they must sit down for a, a month. It feels like and just think of all the things they can do just with Discord's gimmicks. Then they worry about the plot. Because he always does fun stuff. Wasn't there a Mr. Rogers reference in there, too? He was dressed up as Mr. Rogers. Yeah, he yeah, had, He yeah. had the sweater and everything. Yeah. He, At least that's how I saw it. I yeah, don't know. He, uh, he got rid of all his chaos stuff, and then he does a fashion show to himself. Um, um, uh, real quick, back to what I was saying about how he he knows Fluttershy so well. Mm-hmm. Uh, how how uh, he's like... He, how the, the line... Um, uh, we'd never. I don't think we've ever brought it up in conversation, but I'm pretty sure she likes gravity. And oh, that's right. She does. He does say that. And uh, so they get everything set up nice and perfect and Fluttershy. And Sh- the, it's showing. It's showing how how well they actually are getting along. And, yeah. And getting to know each other. And how much Discord is kind of is really reformed. Yeah. It. it, it. He's not. Well, like when Discord was first brought back into the show after the. Uh, yeah, what was that called? The flo- the flo- the first Fluttershy Discord episode. Um, um God, oh, God, that was so long ago. The one where uh, where were they before she befriends him in the first place? Oh, the ref- I think it's just called Reforming Discord, isn't it? Yeah, I think it is. I'm not sure. Well, but after that, the first couple episodes after that, when Discord was in, you kind of had hesitation about him being there because you didn't know how trustworthy he was. Yeah. And Twilight's Kingdom kind of brought that point home when he betrayed them all. But now, you know he's trustworthy. He's he's a prankster. He's a harmless prankster. Yeah. You know, and he's he's legitimately good. He, he learned his lesson the I, hard way. I mean, he's paying for all the stuff he's taking and discording himself. Oh yeah, yeah. So that that's another sign that you know he's he's not he's not trying to cause trouble or he or not permanent or harm like really harmful trouble. If just he, if he does it, it's for someone else's amusement or at least his own in a way that doesn't ruin the world. Yeah. But he always tries to use his gimmicks to amuse Fluttershy. He loves to amuse Fluttershy. Mm-hmm. So like, like, like. Oh, oh. Shoot, my pop filter. Yeah, just edit that out. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, like, like going back to the party. He like all the, the the finger food thing. Like he like how he eats the crust and the finger food thing. She 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 giggles at that, and so he, he like yeah, like you said, he likes make he likes making her laugh. Even uh, in the first episode of Forming Discord, uh, when he chaos is up her house and is making it float in the air and spin and everything's all a mess uh, Fluttershy says my house has never been this lively before well I think that was just a, an attempt to you know not or to be like what's it well I mean I'm sure she was just trying to placate him and her friends but I honestly think given how her relationship with him has grown mm-hmm. that she actually might have liked that chaos stuff a little bit because it goes it's so against her nature it's a nice change but Maybe to her it wasn't too scary. Maybe. Well, I think I think it was more scary to to uh, Angel. Yeah, but we don't care about him. He's evil. Mm-hmm. But uh, anyway, so he gets everything set up. Everything's normal. The stairs don't go to nowhere because they're gone. No, nothing that doesn't move. Mm-hmm. Nothing sings. The it, tea doesn't sing. The the teapot doesn't fly. The napkins are just napkins. The pinata is just a pinata. Everything is fine. And he invites he well he has to oh the, he he has a the little uh, fashion show for for himself <laughs> which was great and I I just wish I know I there's no way the MLP staff would do this but I wish uh um that when he was trying on all the different clothes he came out with like some brony stuff on like an MLP hat or something well actually wait no Hasbro has acknowledged the bronies before in the Equestria Girls video before the movie mm-hmm. there was a Equestria Girls music video. And they mentioned the bronies hanging out with the ponies too. Oh yeah. But uh, so I wish he kind of come out in like some brony shirt and a brony hat. That would have been great. And, and all the other discords just laugh at him. <laughs> but uh, he's like, oh, it's almost time for the, for the tea party. And then the clock chimes. Oh, it's time. So uh, he snaps his fingers and he, let me let me do my good snap of finger hand. And and pop and and pop. And, and pop goes Fluttershy. <laughs> And Fluttershy pops in front of his house, and so he, that so that explains how she gets there. Yeah, I, I want to know how the male pony got there, though. Yeah, that's a uh, good question. He, he's uh, was he magicked no. in, or what, is he what, just that good at his job? Yeah, what's what's the what's the saying? The saying through rain, through sleep, sleep, neither rain nor sleet nor snow or interdimensional travel, and giant flying badgers in the bottomless pit. Where 
is that pony? I remember he got carried away by something. Yeah, he got carried. No one knows. Yeah, he will never know. But um, most so, most may think that he has suffered a great, uh, a, a tragic, a terrible fate. Yeah, but uh, getting starting a family with that thing. <sighs> but Fluttershy shows up and she's all excited because yeah. she's looking to see a um uh, a tea party that's discorded up, and she goes inside and it's all normal. She's like, oh. Okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, once and uh, what uh, before that, like when, while we were discussing, they're explaining all the things that Discord is doing. It kind of that's when it becomes super obvious where they're like, they're like she's not. This isn't what she wants coming yeah, ex- to your place. Exactly. If, if she if she wanted to if she wanted this, she you know she would have just had the tea party at her kept, place. Kept having the tea parties at her place. She she wanted a different experience. An experience that only Discord can give. That's why he. That's why she loves him so much. Is because he's that change in her life. But uh, she she goes inside and she's like, "Oh, this isn't right." And, and, and she keeps on having all these expectations. And this is shows how well she knows Discord. Yep. Does the tea sing? Does the teapot fly? Like all the things that he originally was going to do, she knew. Yeah. And she... when Discord goes to. Uh, Pour her the tea. His paw doesn't. His paw go through the the, the tea mug. Uh yeah, yeah yeah yeah. Without without being chaotic, uh, his um his powers are going away, so he's starting to fade away. So this brings up a whole bunch of other theories all on its own about Discord's origin, but we'll worry about that some other time. Um, but she's like, oh no, you're fading. And he's like, well, what do you, what do you mean? Everything's fine, and he's kind of like losing it's, his mind it's, there. It's it's a, it's still a wonderful day in the neighborhood. Really. The episode was predictable, but in no way bad. Yeah. So she's like, "Okay, we, we, we got to do something." But wait, but, but I, he, I, I would. But by the time they realize, by the time she realizes, it's it's kind of too late for him to fix it himself. Yeah, it's really bad. Like, he's really see through. He's basically a watermark. Yeah. <laughs> um, and and so uh, Fluttershy decides to that it, it, she has to take matters into her own hooves. And, and the first uh, thing she does is what Discord would do. She talks Stairs. to herself. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. She gets a bunch of objects that are reflective, and she puts them around herself, and she has conversations with herself. What do and we need to do, Fluttershy? Oh, maybe we, we got to discord it up, Fluttershy. Yeah, and then he would, like, stares to nowhere. But my, my personal favorite is, we've never really discussed it, but I'm pretty sure that Discord hates gravity. <laughs> <laughs> so it's, I, think, I think that's the best line. <laughs> yes, it is. This is the way Fluttershy says it. Just... In that cute Fluttershy way of hers. I, I think really, Discord hates really, Fluttershy. I've never discussed it, but I'm really sure Discord hates gravity. Again, showing that they know each other so, so well. So well. So, you know, she tries, so she nails stuff to the ceiling. And, you know, she just does her, she does her pony best to Discord it up. And as she does, Discord's like, yes, I would do that. And, and the tea would sing. And the teapot would fly. Yeah, and slowly, slowly but surely he starts, he starts, uh. Uh, solidifying again. Yeah, until he's back to normal. And then and can and can start chaosing, chaosing. himself. And he like he rips off the suit, but he's naked underneath. No, uh, well, no, not yet. Um, uh, yeah, well, like yeah, eventually she's like yeah, um, she's like, I guess yeah, she explains like oh I wanted it, I wanted I, I wanted it to to, to be, be like how to, you would want it how would you would party. want it that, that's why I came over to your place and. Not didn't have it at my place anymore. And so then that's when he realizes, oh, like, yeah, you're right. And so that's when he rips off the Mister Rogers sweater and all that. But his and, fur and everything comes off with it. And no, Wait, no, he was he was in a Fluttershy suit because remember, one thing we forgot to mention is that one of other than the setting, getting all the party stuff ready, and the uh, and and dressing up. Yeah, he had he had a uh, conversational little note cards to like oh what lovely weather we're having today and and uh, oh your your garden looks so lovely now right now uh, like what, what's your secret to keeping your garden so lovely and like one of the discords dressed up like uh, like a Fluttershy oh yeah that's right and, and that's what was underneath him when What's he the Fluttershy and he's like oh I forgot I was wearing this <laughs> That's as close you probably get to a Brody outfit. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. You got your wish. Oh, yeah, true enough. So th- that comes off, and, you know, Fluttershy has a good laugh at that. And soon the tea party's in full chaotic swing. The tea is singing. The pinata is sneezing. The napkins are glowing and folding. It- it's-, it's, a- it's a Discord tea party. 
and Fluttershy is loving it, and the more you know, it's just kind of those like that song opposites attract, mm-hmm. which kind of makes me think of the friendship between me and Werner because I'm I'm a loud, obnoxious bastard, and he's a quiet gentleman. Yep. But somehow we manage to become friends, or at least not enemies. Yeah. True enough. And he has reason to kill me. I do. He shot me in the face once. Yes. With a shotgun. That, don't don't shotgun. see what kind of shotgun it was. We're just going to leave him on that. It, I'll, I'll, let it, I'll let it the part out because I did kind of see it. No, no, no. Not, not that part. The other part. What kind of shotgun? I, that, that's what I meant. Oh, uh, yeah. I, I did kind of say it as you were saying oh, it. Oh, so. yeah. I, I just I shot him in the face with a shotgun and it, it wasn't cool. And it's But he's still kicking. <laughs> <laughs> so we're really good friends now. We've had our ups and downs. And, and I didn't punch him in the face. No, in fact, he let me ice his face. I was actually waiting for you to punch me in the face. I'm still waiting for the day I'm walking down the street and you, you push me in front of a bus. You know, I'm more upset. Of, I'm more. Of, uh, I'm more upset about you constantly berating me, like even when I'm not doing it, to not point it at anyone's face, even if it. Even yes, if I think it's, I'm an and, asshole. And, and then you do it to me. And then I shoot you in the face. I was more upset about that than actually getting shot in the face. Are you fucking serious? Yes. <laughs> but this episode kind of personifies our friendship, our bizarre, retarded friendship. And it was good. I'm actually kind of glad these episodes leaked. It was... I'm some more than others. What? The episodes. Th- Oh, yeah. More more happy about some I, I, episodes than others. No, I'm happy. Well, I get what you mean, but I'm glad just both of them leaked because... Even it, with my Fluttershy bias, I yeah, still like the other one. Which blows my mind because this dude is really loves Fluttershy. I've, I've got a bunch of pony plushies, but he's only got one. And for him, it's the one that matters. Yep. That is until we find a good Mod Pie plush. I got... No, okay. I got a necklace. I got a plush. I got that wooden thing that you got me. Uh, I got a keychain. And I got a shirt. Did you mention the bag? And I got a bag. That's right. A little messenger bag. Yeah, so he's got all that Fluttershy stuff. I have... And I've drawn Fluttershy. I have two Fluttershy plushies, like a mini one that uh, Mrs. Units gave me. It's got a little Christmas hat. And just one I got at Dragon Con. And that's it. And even with all my Fluttershy bias... The other episode was still better. It was a great episode. But we've already ranted on that one, and we're not going to get into that mess again. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> no, no, it's, 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 I'm sure everybody's feeling this way, because it's something we've all been wanting. But I'm actually kind of glad we got this episode, too, because... Ah! I got I to gotta get a better mic stand. But, well, uh, well, it's the filter right at this point. <laughs> well, I got I to gotta get both, because this thing is just so... Finicky. Bad. Finicky. Yeah, it's just really loose. I mean, it's as tight as it can be on there, and it's loose as hell. Yeah. But anyway... It was just a good episode. It, it wasn't... The other episode really overshadows it, which is a shame because it's a solid episode. Yeah. But I guess that's what happens when you put good next to awesome. But I guess that's all for this one. What about you? You got any final thoughts on this one? Um, I'm trying to think. Uh, no, just I just really liked how... How they showed their how 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 close they've gone and how how much Discord has changed how much how much Discord has changed and how how well they they really know each other because like I said, uh, Discord did all the stuff that that was like okay this is exactly how Fluttershy would do it even mm-hmm. though that wasn't that's not the point of inviting someone to your house to have a party exactly uh, and then when Fluttershy comes back and has to change it and has to change everything back to save his life she knows exactly. Like she 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 revert she 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 tra- she like it's like as if she th- becomes Discord. Well, yeah, but like she she ex- she ta- she takes the exact uh, steps backwards that he that he that uh, that he took. The, is, the steps that he took, she took backwards which to, she, to fix things. Which you could be lazy about and have her do things that are kind of similar, but they wanted to really hammer home the point that they know each other that well. Yep. So it's so precise. Yeah. Stairs to nowhere. The, the stairs to nowhere. I'm pretty sure the, Fluttershy loves gravity. I'm gra- pretty sure Discord hates gravity. Yeah. That, that, those two lines are like the perfect, the the perfect uh, two sides represent of a coin. the two, the perfect representation of. Uh, of of their of their of their friendship of their friendship and their their uh what's it called what's the word their bond uh let's go with that it's not exactly what I'm thinking of but relationship no uh I I can't think I of guess any. knowledge of each other but yeah. 
but I think the point. Ah, I think the point we're all trying to say here is we chip it. No. <laughs> Too late. I said it. But uh, that's all for the, this one. The, the the shipping episode is next one. Oh shit. Technically. Okay, but th- th- this brings up a valid point though. <clears throat> Discord can never betray Fluttershy or any of the main six ever again. No, he cannot. No, he really can't because then it makes this episode completely pointless. Oh yeah. Or at least he can't betray, betray Fluttershy. But but then but uh, at the same time the no. others would be betraying Fluttershy too because, yeah, because she would she would get upset. Yeah. She he knows she would get upset. Yeah, so he can never betray her ever again or any of the others. This this kind of solidifies him into the I mean, the good guy category. I mean, he saved them in in the uh, in the T-Rex episode? No, not not the T-Rex episode in the uh, Chaos vine thingies? No. The uh, hive. Oh, yeah, yeah, he did. The, the assault on the hive. Yeah, that was a good episode, too. Yeah. I like Thorax. We got some catching up to do. Yeah, well, we haven't done a lot. We've we've had life in the way. And we, we've got some new equipment now, which we're breaking in right now. Yeah, I'm sure you can hear it making that soft cooing sound in the background. It's called a table. It's pretty useful. Oh, yeah, it's, it's much better than what we've been using. But maybe we'll do a pen and sword horror review of this table. But uh, that's all for now for me. Maybe maybe you can do something about this you have that you have right that you placed all over here. Oh, the the majiggers. Yes, the the MacGuffins. Yes, the MacGuffins that are the, these two yeah. things do not correlate in any way. I think you can just yeah, <laughs> you got two two different. Uh, oh yeah, uh, fran- okay. You got two different franchises here, so. And I need to put my K bar knife in with it all, and and the M sixteen replica. So you've got. Ponies, Pokemon, K Bar, and M sixteen. <laughs> Just and they all and they all correlate so <laughs> correlate somehow. Uh, but uh, that's all for now for me. Uh, offend Osiris. Until our next encounter.